Now then YouTube, I am the Tough Man and welcome back to my Tottenham Simulated Manager Mode Let's Play playthrough kind of game on FIFA 13. Last episode we did really, 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 really well. We did amazingly well. We had an episode where we never lost a game. And I think we actually played six games or something like that. So, you know, we never lost a game. Never lost a game. That's brilliant. I want to continue that as far as I can. The basic aim of this year for me is to get Champions League, uh, uh, get a Champions League place, because then we can start getting a little bit of money and, uh, and and enticing the big boys to come over to Tottenham. At the minute, though, we have a really, really good squad. We have a lot of people that are going up in rating. I think Carl Walker's even gone up to 81 now. Um, let's have a look at the squad reports. Actually, I want to have a look at this. See what's what's happening with the team here. Because this is amazing. We already know that Hugo Lloris has gone up one. Kyle Walker has gone up three. This is just in the start of the season. He's gone up three. Vertonghen stayed on 81. Uh, Yunus Kabul has gone up one though. Gail Cleish has also gone up one. Scott Parker stayed the same. Obviously it will do because he's 32. Sandro has gone up two. Clint Dempsey stayed the same. He's 29. I very much doubt that's going to change much. Gareth Bale has gone up two since the start of this season. 87 rated. Leandro Damiao has gone up two. He's gone up to 82. What? He said 81 a minute ago. I'm sure it did. Uh, Jermaine Deef, 81. William Gallas has gone down three. The guy's 35. What do you expect? Tom Huddleston, 77 out of IR. Uh, Christian Caballos has gone up three. And the guy hasn't even done anything. But the status is, has that special something, so... Very interesting indeed. Carl Norton's gone up 1 to 74. Sigurdsson's gone up 2 to 78. Adam Smith's gone up 2 to 68. Livermore's gone up 2 to 75. Brad Friedel's gone down 3. Carla Cudicini's gone down 4. Danny Rose has gone up 3. Simon Dawkins has gone up 3. These are the guys that are on loan, by the way. Harry Kane's gone up 1. Uh, Frederick's gone up 1. Luongo has gone up 2. And that's about it. So there's just a little quick show for you guys, and let's continue on. Let's see if we, oh this is a big match, this is a big match. Kareem Rekic, what about him? One for the future, okay. But that's who we're playing next is Man City, and if we manage to win this match, we could sneak ahead of them when it comes to the game in hand. That would be very good. Now, are we home or away? Because that is going to take uh, a big... Look at that, Liverpool. Nine games and nine points. Just shows you that FIFA don't like Liverpool anymore. We've got a scouting update here, but it's a shame that we can't actually do anything upon this. Um, 6692, 63... 1794, Alves... Uh, Al Gon Gon Gonsalvo Alves. And another one there. In fact, he's slightly better in his, you know, his current overall. But he is 60. He is 16, not 15. So Javier Arnos, there for two months, 1794, 1794. Some good players there, but I can't actually do anything with them. I'm afraid. Billy Ridgewell, 6894, 75-94. That looks a good fucking player. That. He looks like a, maybe a centre back. His strength, balance, jumping, strength and stamina and shot power. He's got to be a centre-back, surely. Willow O'Shea. In England, everybody's shit. But Nathan, Nathan Smith isn't too bad, and uh, but he's a goalkeeper, so we've already got a good goalkeeper. Mind you, we do need, oh, international management offer from Bulgaria. Now, I originally said that I wanted to wait. Well, after carefully reviewing potential candidates, we are pleased to offer you the position of head coach for the Bulgarian national team. Extension of this contract is contingent on a successful campaign during the next 12 months. We also expect you to meet the following objectives to qualify for the World Cup and to reach the knockout stages of the European Championships. Note that this offer will expire on the 4th of January 2013 if we do not receive a response. 
I'm going to go ahead and accept this offer. I like the fact that I could manage somebody from the international scene. Bulgaria is a good start, so let's accept that offer and continue on. I'll accept that. Glad to have you on board. Good stuff. Oh, we've got some XP and some, uh, some coins there. So we'll see what that does. International offer pleases man. <laughs> Bulgaria, blah, blah, blah. I think I can strengthen the team and push us forward to glory internationally. So let's go to the, finally we've got international management here. What do we do in here? Upcoming match, 10th of November. So I'm going to get chucked into the fray straight away in an international friendly against Greece. Let's have a look at the squad. Can we not do squad selection just yet? I don't think we can. Three and a half star out of Bulgaria. Can I do the usual and just do that? Yeah. That's good, because then I can get people. I'm going to change this, um, you know, this formation here to a 4 4 2. Exactly the same as the one that I've got now. 4 4 2, a holding 4 4 2. And then do that for that then. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so we've still got a midfielder up front there. And a striker, or a right winger, on the right mid there. And yeah, I'll sort that out nearer the time. It's fine as it is at the minute. So up to Man City, the game against Man City now. Now, at the minute, I'm locked into Bulgaria at the top there. There we are, now I'm locked into Spurs. I didn't know if I kept on doing that, whether or not it would actually switch me over to Spurs or not, so I just did it just in case. Clint Dempsey, Leandro Damiao, they're all going from 9th to the 15th. Clichy returns to first former club, Man City. Nice. Can we get off to a winning start against Man City? This is an important match. Parker, Sandro, Dempsey, Damiao, Defoe. This is a really good team. I do like this team. I keep saying this, but I really do like this team. It's so much easier than managing fucking Liverpool. We're away as well. This is not particularly brilliant. Nastasic has got a red card. Sinclair is injured. Oh, that is a good result. I'll take that result all day. Man City versus Spurs. One all. Had a bite all to come on and score against his old club there. No, no love for the cliche at Manchester the City. Premier League. <laughs> five. Now, is it going to actually skip, you know, that's sim past my game if I stay as Spurs here, or will it switch to my Bulgarian? Three. That's what I, would, I need to know, one. really. Liverpool two. Wigan Athletic one. Oh, Liverpool have Manchester just jumped. One. Tottenham Hotspur Ooh. one. Nice now let's see what effect that's Bulgaria backed the debut league. manager success. At the top of the table remain I can't do squad selection though. Points. In second, rising up the table. So it looks like I'm stuck with the with squad that I've got. In third, climbing the table are Tottenham Hotspur with 21. Bandalovsky. In fourth, rising Holy up the shit. table are Everton. Seriously, a right back in central in fifth, defensive mid. Manchester United. It's got to be a better player points. to put there. In sixth, moving down, are Chelsea with 20 Oh, that looks a lot better. In seventh, Newcastle United with 17 points. In eighth... That's still a pretty shit team. Have oh, we got a better centre-back? Seriously. Points. 66. Bottom table, Norwich City with six points. Yeah, still better then than reading up the table, second bottom... Boy, you know. ...with eight points. Third bottom, West Ham United with eight points. Fourth bottom... Right back, right back, striker seven. ...with 11 points. Fifth bottom, Mad. down, are uh, with 13 points. I don't know why Boyanoff's not playing. I put Boyanoff on there instead. What's that guy's finishing like? 72. What's Boyanoff's finishing like? 72. Uh, oh, well. Let's just get on with it. Let's just get on with it. See what we can do with Bulgaria. It's Bulgaria versus Greece. Greece are a... Uh, Defensive team, yet they're you know setting up as a 4 3 3. What? Uh, Botov with two goals, Steinoff with one, 
And uh, Greece managed him to score with, uh, courtesy of Sal Pingidis, but that's not going to help them. A debut win. And Berbatov missed a penalty. But it looks like he scored the, the uh, rebound, so. Man experiences rare debut success. What do you mean rare? Thoughts on homesick Kadera. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm sick of hearing about that now. Santi Cazala suffers lateral collateral ligament injury. Oh my god. Oh, well, it's not as bad as what it sounds because he's out for only two months. And then we've got another friendly here against what looks like Slovenia. It is Slovenia. I was right. I don't really want to change that team, but whatever. I will do. And then again, they put Bandolovsky in the central defensive mid there. I, I don't want that. I don't want him there. Well, I've kept Boyanov in. I'll just keep that team. Fuck it. Slovenia. This is going to be slightly more difficult than that game against Greece. But fingers crossed. One all. Even with them having a man sent off. Even off is injured, but to be honest, I don't give a shit. He don't play for me. He's out for seven days anyway. And then we're back to Tottenham duty. And we're actually top of our league, above Italy. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I'm sorry, but what the fuck? Give us a second. I'll be... Pretty good form lately, I'm feeling good, so I hope you're not going to bench me for the next game. Well. Thoughts. Do I, or do I not drop maybe Sandro for just this one game? It's Defoe and Adebayor, actually. Why, wow, where is uh, Damian? Why is he not playing? He's on really good morale. Oh, Adebayor's slightly better form. Um, Sigurdsson then. I'm going to put Sandra on the bench for this one. Now, where is Brad Friedel? Why are you over there, fella, and not on the bench with everybody else? Against Wigan Athletic, who are mid-table. Spurs versus Wigan. It's a pretty shocking team. And I bet it's these that I struggle against. Oh no, 2 0. Defoe's injured though. We've lost Defoe. Leandro Damiao came on. So did Sandro. Sigurdsson got a yellow card. Had a bio with two goals. In good form there. Scoring two. Jermaine Defoe is out for two months. Holy shit. That is a big loss, actually. Is, oh, great. Giving great pleasure, okay. Stoke City. Adebayo happy with Spurs. And let's take a look he, I mean, enjoyment playing the under man. At the top of the table, <laughs> remain Bandit Cheers for all the first team football I'm getting. I'll be doing my best. Second, rising Arsenal table, next, though. Tottenham Hotspur, look at this. 24 points. Talk it's about shoving in the games, thank you. But if you play on Thursday and then the Saturday, you just wouldn't. So what comes next in the Barclays Premier League? While well, second place Tottenham Hotspur face a trip to third place Arsenal. Oh, big match. Third place Arsenal. Okay. And again, they've placed Bentley there. Now, I can only think that that's because Cle He's not that, folks. Come on. Come on now. Right, Leandro Damiao and Adebayo are up front. We've got Christian Caballos there. And Lancaster on the pedge. Uh, Sigurdsson, let's get Bentley out of there. Oh no, Bad Friedel's there, so... Ah, oh, to lose Defoe, that's a big, big minus. Big minus. This would uh, do wonders for getting closer to Manchester City, that's for sure. Fingers crossed. 1-0, Christian Cavalos comes off the bench to score. The 67 rated bloke, I think he was. Chelsea beat Liverpool, though. Doesn't matter. Oh, it's a shame. Schumach missed a penalty as well. Great stuff. The Barclays Premier League. There we are. That was the game in hand as well. So now we find ourselves only two points behind Man City's second place. Liverpool. And here's West Ham. And these are the always the ones that beat me. They're always the ones who fucking beat me. Manchester City with 29 points. In second, Tottenham Hotspur with 27 points. 
In third, climbing the table are Chelsea with 24 points. In fourth, uh, Moussa Dembele is up front. Can he play up front? Points. In fifth, he can. Manchester United with 22 points. In sixth, Everton. Adebayo's pretty short, though. In so is Leandro Damiao. United with 20 points. And so is Lancaster. So is everybody's fucked. Uh, well, not as fucked as what they would be in FIFA 12, which is a you know it's a good plus. I'm just going to go with that team. I'm just going to go with that team and just fingers crossed that we can win this game. We're at home as well, so that's a plus. But it's West Ham. They always manage to fucking beat me for some strange reason. 2-1, Dembele. Leandro Damiao, but look who's injured. Gareth Bale is injured how long for? Two days. That's good. And Michael Dawson has returned from injury. And it's back to European against Genk. A win here would surely put us through to the next round. In fact, it would put us through. Club circle in Kadera situation. Fulham. And it is coming up to December as well. City two, Liverpool Genk two. and Fulham on the 1st of December. Let's look ahead to the quarter-final of the English League Cup. And in the so final, there. Southampton that, that's uh, Randers FC there, the Cameron Doe. They're, they're buying quite a few players. And Jose Alder there has gone to Newcastle. So that's something to keep an eyeball on. Kyle Walker is... Has he been, like, red card or something? Is somebody injured? I don't know about... Aaron Lennon? But it is Adebayor and Damiao, and they're still pretty uh, pretty screwed there. And it's Kyle Walker who's on the bench. Oh, my God, we've got no bloody... No defenders on the bench. Oh, yeah, we have. They're there. They're just hiding from me. Where is... Um, Brad, get in the team, fella. Get in the team. Where is Dempsey? Why are you not playing, fella? Sandro, Parker. I'm gonna put Sigurdsson on, I think. Cal Norton's at right back as well, getting a rare game against Genk. Come on now, they want us to win this cup as well. You know what I mean? Three, one, two for Leandro Damiao, one for Dempsey. Nice, nice. Cal Walker's now eligible again for. Yeah. It must have been. From the last game, the European game, I remember now. A string of top draw displays has pushed Clint Dempsey's claims to be first team on the, uh, the to be the first name on the team sheet each week. He's always the first name on the team for team sheets. For me. We're top of the league. Top 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 the league. Top 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 the league. Top 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 the league. Top 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 top. See if uh, Man City lose their game in hand. That's going to be important. With an athletic one. Fulham and then Liverpool. Liverpool are stuck in mid table at the minute. Aswe Kato faces visit from old teammates. So we're away. Make sure Demps is in the team this time, please, fella. Fuck's sake. Is it fitness? Have I just missed him entirely? Is he in the team already? It's just somewhere else. Oh, he's a striker, is he? I've put him up as a striker. Okay, this is interesting. Because, of course, my strikers do need a little bit of a break. Andrew Damiao. <coughs> so I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. Fulham versus Spurs. I've got a... Pretty solid defence, really. Nil nil. So we lost a, uh, we lost two points effectively there, in my opinion. 
Manager of the Month Award, the Football Association, Rebecca Pompey, AFC Wimbledon. Nil. Did you give me it in person? Tan, Wolf, that's why I want to know. <laughs> United one, Shrewsbury Town one, Chesterfield nil. Well, we're back to Manchester second City place. One. Come on, City won their game. They've still got the game in hand as well, so they could go four points ahead. Now we've got a uh, a game against Liverpool coming up. Three, Northampton Town one, Exeter City two. Dagenham and Redbridge, one. Gillingham, one. Well, Adebay, Oz, the Kip highest United, top scorer for two. us. Lake Norian, one. Interestingly Bristol enough, Rivers, one. Milton what's his face? He's not even two. on the list. Sure he's scored North more North than Lake four goals. Two. Mind you, some of them may have been in the Euro two. Cup. Plymouth Argyle. There's no point in even looking North at these, because I can't two. get any of them. Preston it just, two. It just depresses town. me. Yeah. So basically, I just wasted Oxford, money sending one. these guys here. Notts County, two. Rotherham United, one. Yeovil Town, nil. Scunthorpe United, two. Nothing Oxford I can do. City, two. Stevenage, two. Aldershot Town, oh, one. That one as well. Swindon Town, three. Cheltenham Town, one. Tramier Rovers, one. Oxford United, one. Okay. Premier so I can't really do anything about that until January, which is where I'm probably going to uh, maybe look at selling a couple of players. That I, don't, that I don't necessarily need to bring in that extra money so that when I send some scouting reports out, I'm actually going to get something back from it. Anyway, guys, for this episode, that's enough for this episode. We are currently in Champions League spot, and that is exactly where I want to be. We're doing really well. Our strikers are coping, especially without um, Jermaine Defoe at the minute. But uh, we're doing really well. We're doing above my expectations for this season. I was expecting to be maybe in this position next season. But we've still got half a season left and it does get more difficult when it gets to the end of the season when all the injuries start coming through. But until next time, guys, I've been the top man as always. Stay safe.